Welcome to the Engineerable channel. In this video, we're gonna be looking at just one of the accessories at a time. We're gonna be replacing these top sights on the Spiderball SRB400 with these tactical mount sights and rail on top here. That's gonna change the appearance of this blaster. These are available in orange and blue. I've only purchased the orange. They're sold by FXT Works. I found them on Amazon. Let's open these up and slap them on. FXT Works also has other spider ball mods like this rear stock and this undermount grip. All of these are also available in blue for the blue blaster. Check out my other videos where I install those and review them. So this rail appears like a tactical rail, but it doesn't follow the standard of the tactical rails on rifles. This is a standard tactical rail and you can see it is much narrower than this large rail. So unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to put standard scopes and sights and stuff that fit the normal tactical rails on there. But however, this is gonna change the appearance of it to make it look cooler and it'll give you a nice flat surface to possibly attach another either plastic or metal tactical rail on top of it that then you can attach on sights or laser or flashlight or whatever you wanna do up there. Just remember that doing any mods like this can make the blaster look more realistic so it's important to keep these bright orange colors or bright blue colors so it still looks like a toy and doesn't confuse anyone if you're playing outside. And so we gotta remove the original sights on here. There's a screw up in the top of this one. And there's a screw in the top of this one. With this kit, there's two options for the rails. You can put a shorty rail But these are still different heights, they're not the same height, so it doesn't help kind of make it even across the top. And then the sights could be attached to these shorty mounts here. You have to unscrew and remove these clamp screws before you can slide the sights onto the mounts because the screw passes through the grooves. This is the rear sight. You can slide it on here, put it in position. And then the front sight. So the stock set up with the spider ball sights has it such that the sights are angled down a little bit relative to the barrel, which makes sense because these gels drop off due to gravity. So you want to actually be shooting a little bit higher than where you're aiming. With this configuration, the sights are about the same angle as the splatter ball sights are set up. So it just changes the appearance a little bit. But again, you can't do anything with these tactical rails here other than use the sights that came with it. These plastic pieces can be screwed on with the included screws or probably the original screws too, but it does include a set of screws here. What I was most interested in is this full length rail I can tell just by looking at it, it's not very straight. It's kind of, it's kind of warpedy. Um, but maybe it'll straighten out when we put it on here. Yeah, it's gonna straighten out when we screw it down on there. I like the way this looks with this full tactical rail on here. And it kind of provides like a handle to grab onto the top of the blaster so you can hold it like that. I'm gonna screw this one in. I'm just gonna reuse the original screws. Okay, so now we have this tactical rail on the top here and it completely changes the appearance of the blaster. I think it looks way cooler with this. Let's slide on the sights that came with it. All right, so there we go. We've added the tactical rail, non-standard size, but comes with these plastic sights and you can fold down the sights.
the nose of this got janky on the back here. Let me try to set that. Oops, there we go. I guess I didn't seat it down far enough. I need to remove this and maybe redo that screw. I'm going to put this a little bit further forward so if I fold the sight down, it's protected. Feels quite strong. You totally just carry the blaster by this like a handle. It's kind of nice, it's balanced. Something though now is that the hole in the sight is at the same height as the pin here. So now the sighting is parallel to the barrel, unlike the default splatter ball sighting that was aimed a little bit down relative to the barrel. So now you're gonna be um, having to aim higher if you're trying to sight through these because your gel balls are gonna drop off. So there's no adjustability in the height of these sights. So that kind of throws things off when you put these up even. What they should have done is they should have offset the sights and made these the same height when you put these on there. Let me know down in the comments what you think of this mod. And if you want to buy this, check in the description. I have some links in the description to where to buy this tactical rail and sights accessory. Check out the other videos where I review the stock and also this front vertical mount grip that replaces the battery cover.